It's your brother, the 13th letter to the cipher, and we are B-A-C-K-A-G-A-I-N on another super sunny day. That's right, super sunny day, and if you're not getting no sun, I feel sorry for you. Because the vitamin D is essential for the body. Get some of that vitamin D, rub it all over your face. I promise you it will change your attitude. And if this is your first time watching the M-O-S-H-O-W Chicago, I want to thank you. Tell your friends, tell your family, co-workers, anyone that you run to. Share the information. And this story here today is about Maxine Waters. Congresswoman Maxine Waters in L.A., California, actually pulled over her SUV and observed how the Los Angeles Police Department was treating a black man that they had pulled over. She said that she intervened and pulled over because she wanted to see what was going on. One of the law enforcement officers replied that you're in the wrong place. I'm going to give you a ticket. Her reply was, she don't care. Give me the ticket. So she went over there to see what happened. And guess what? The young black man or the black man that they did half pulled over and threatened to arrest was let go and she who was threatened with a ticket did not sign the ticket citation she didn't care either so it was a win-win situation now had Maxine Water not intervened and kept on riding by we don't know what the outcome with the law enforcement and the black man that was pulled over would have been. Would it have been another George Floyd? Would it have been another Breonna Taylor? Would it have, another, would it have been another Michael Brown? We don't know. But I tell you one thing, it's very funny because nothing has really changed because according to this year, 1,000 people have been shot by law enforcement. And in fact, it was a 14 year old boy that was shot by law enforcement in Louisiana and it was unreported. The police made no report on it. It wasn't until his mother got a phone call from the news reporter stating that her son had been shot by the police. And then a detective shows up and tells her that she can't see her son at the very same time that he was shot. And they didn't tell her. Could you imagine the stories that are untold? Could you imagine all of the events that took place that we will never know about. Could you imagine what the story still will be when the law enforcement continues to arrest a black person and turn off their body cam? With that being said, do you think that they should be held responsible or immediately guilty for turning off their body cam doing the rest? If there's nothing to hide, why would you want to turn off your body cam? And furthermore, why would law enforcement, the very same people who are entrusted with firearms, doing all of the killing or shooting unarmed people? You think about that. Now, they're defunding the police across the nation. And the madness hasn't stopped. It's just not being televised. 
You think about that. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think the outcome would have been different if Maxine Waters had not stopped and observed the treatment of the officers to the individual that they were going to arrest? Do you think that she was right stopping? Do you think that she was wrong stopping? Do you think that police should be immediately found guilty of all charges when they turn off their body cam as they make an arrest. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback. It's your brother, the 13th letter to the cipher. Stay away from those real cats who shoot people all day. Stay away from those real dudes who shoot people all day. Stay away from people like that. Preserve your life. Have some love, peace, and respect for yourself. It's your brother, the 13th letter to the cipher.